welcome back to Garage Makeover or whatever it is I've got going on here. Um, this is episode 5 or 6 or actually if you're keeping track it's down here. Today the plan is to hang this baby up. A nice uh, 49 inch Chili TV um, that we clearly got for Christmas. Um, and what we're going to do is make a custom TV bracket. So we're going to take, we're going to take uh, this old um, take this old style of uh, TV bracket here um, and modify it to make a custom one to be able to hang the TV up on the wall because it's flat, I don't know, whatever it is is happening over here. Uh, we're going to take that off and we're going to use some of these existing pieces to make our own swivel bracket. But what we're probably going to do is get rid of this, oh, the old kind of plate that the old style of TV would have, you know, it would stand on. Uh, we're also going to get rid of the front piece. We're going to mount our plate like that. Um, so what that's going to leave us with is sort of a flat plate for our TV to mount directly onto. And the TV will go over there with the picture facing out, of course. Um, we don't want the picture facing towards the wall. The bracket is uh, not the heaviest of duty brackets, so I think I'm going to have to add a little gusset. Just a small piece of metal or square tubing or whatever I've got uh, lying around. Uh, we'll weld that in so it creates a nice triangle that gives us a lot of strength. We'll then check that uh, this bolt is actually big enough. It's currently a 6mm bolt, so I might drill the holes out and change it over to an 8mm bolt. Um, I think that should be big enough. It's a really simple project, so let's go look what's in the scrap heap. The one thing I actually forgot to uh, explain is the flat bracket or the flat plate that we're going to use to sort of weld on to mount the TV onto. Um, that's probably going to be a 300 by 300 millimeter flat plate. Um, we need to drill the holes, four holes in the back of it, to mount onto the back of the TV. And on our TV, these holes are 200 millimeters apart by 200 millimeters apart. So it makes it nice and easy to just measure out uh, as long as it's all square. Uh, we drill the holes uh, sort of in that, um, in that respect. It'll mount straight onto the back of the TV. So yeah, that's just some bit of useless information. Hopefully you get to use it. like it'll uh, work. Um, it's just uh, some offcuts of uh, some angle line. It's probably about a 30 by 30 millimeter angle line, uh, also from a previous project. So yeah, I think it'll work just fine. What did we say originally? Whether the TV had to be like 200 mils away from the wall? This is 200 and 250. So it's going to be probably about that much further away from the wall, you reckon? Because it means then uh, we also don't have to modify the length, which is just a bit less work. Yeah, I think that'll do. Cool. Oh, shit. It's a bit heavy. Um, it's quite a nice uh, spear that I had lying around. Um, it's, a, it's a spear total. After having taken this thing apart, um, this is where we wanted to put the gusset in. So I have found these two pieces of bare steel, but I think what I'm going to do, we're going to use that little U piece, these little U bracket. Um, so I'll cut that off, and then with a the piece left over, what I'll do is I'll weld that piece in there, and that'll uh, create our triangle. Awesome, and that's actually going to work. It's going to work nicely. Sorry. Those are the two 
angles that we are looking for uh, we're just going to cut that nice and cleanly off there and uh, cut that side cleanly off and then it should it should fit in yeah should fit in just like that cut our little gusset out and um, it's going to go just in like that it actually fits really well I mean I couldn't have done it better myself we're going to now weld the gusset in um, we're going to weld along that edge and that edge what we first need to do is to clean off the coating of the paint so you can see I've uh, cleaned the uh, the gusset's edge off it's bare metal but now I need to clean the edge of the bracket off over there so I need to do that everywhere that we're going to weld um, it's just so that the welding uh, sort of takes uh, well not takes properly I mean if you had to weld it will just weld through the painting uh, but I'm going to be using an arc welder an arc welder generally welds better uh, when you're welding on clean metal well actually any welder generally welds better um, so yeah. Yeah, there we go. I need a welding on it. Mm -hmm. Just finished welding up the main part of the bracket, uh, welding that gusset. In. So came out pretty good. Um, I would say <laughs> for an arc welder, it's not too bad. Well, for at least my welding skills, it's not too bad. Um, so while this while this cools down, I'll just leave it over there. This is going to be the plate that mounts on the back of the TV. So I've drawn out some lines. Um, we need to cut the plate out like that, uh, and then drill holes one, two, three, four holes um, in the in the corners. That 200 by 200 millimeter uh, spacings. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I don't know if you can see this. Um, Originally the plate was supposed to be used this way around um, but you can see on the bottom it's got a small bump. Now that's a, that's a slight problem because the back of the TV is flat. So I'm going to try and cut this out as neatly as possible. Um, I don't really have the correct tooling to cut it out very neatly uh, but I'll, I'll see what I can do with an angle grinder. I'm sure we can, I'm sure we can make a plan. got to drill 8mm holes. All of the holes are going to be 8mm by the way. It's always good practice not to try and drill a big hole in steel with no, like from nothing. Uh, you first want to drill a pilot hole. So we're going to use this 4mm uh, drill bit to drill a pilot hole um, in the steel. Uh, we'll first drill a pilot hole through the plate and then uh, once we've drilled the pilot holes then we'll put the 8mm drill bit in and then we'll drill through the steel. Okay, so there's basically our TV bracket. It's um, pretty much done. Uh, it needs to be painted still, of course. But um, yeah, there it is. So it'll be mounted onto the wall. It can swivel left and right. And it can also rotate. Well, if it's mounted slightly off for some reason, um, then the TV can be slightly adjusted so that the TV remains level with the ground. Time to put some paint on. Uh, we'll probably use some spray paint. Uh, what we are going to do is um, on the bare metal sections of the bracket. Uh, we need to spray some metal primer on there first um, and then once the primer is dry uh, we'll apply the white spray paint. Um, I think we're going to stick with white because it's being mounted to a white uh, wall and the bracket is already a whitish color so yeah. Yeah so what I've got here is uh, the grey primer I was talking about. Um, the reason you're putting primer on the metal first is because uh, paint doesn't really stick to uh, metal or a bare surface very well so what the primer does is it kind of etches itself onto bare metal and then you can spray your spray paint whatever color it is um, you just spray it onto the primer something I forgot to talk about is um, thinners now 
again, we've been working with our piece here. Um, it's got dust all over it. It's got possibly grease um, or, or oiliness or whatever it is. Uh, and for paint to stick to surfaces, we want to we want it to be as clean as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some liqueur thinners and uh, we'll take a rag, sort of put thinners on the rag, and then we'll wipe down all of our pieces, and then we'll spray the primer and the paint on paint onto that. Here's our completed bracket. Uh, I think it's turned out quite nicely. Uh, it's actually going to be mounted that way around. It's got a swivel side to side. It can rotate uh, left and right or however you want to, however you want to say it rotates. Um, it worked out pretty well. Um, the paint job came out okay. It wasn't, it's not the best paint job, uh, but you're not really going to see this. It's going to be mounted behind a TV and also in between two curtains. I think overall it's come out very well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, be sure to subscribe to get the next video. Um, I think it's going to come out in a few days or so. And uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what you guys uh, want to see made. Give me some ideas. Uh, I'm open to anything. I'll try whatever I can, uh, whatever I'm capable of doing with what I've got here in the workshop. Otherwise, until next time, cheers.